quick video today. Hello, Breaking Free family. Again, God bless you as always. I hope you're doing well. Coach Lizzie here. Um, I really appreciate you guys putting in these wonderful uh, comments in the comment section, encouraging other people. It is so very important that we continue to do that. We are family here. Um, I love to uh, read your comments. They're very inspiring, uplifting, and encouraging. So continue to do that. Um, so many people out here are going through, so many people are struggling, and there's a lot going on in this world. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you for my new subscribers, my old subscribers. Guys, you are wonderful. Keep hitting that like button. Keep hitting that share button. Please subscribe, and do not forget to give us a like. We will really appreciate that. It helps the, uh, the video circulate through the YouTube algorithm. I'm trying to prepare myself this morning uh, to distribute food to the community. I do own my own food pantry here in St. Louis, uh, 28 and a half years strong. And so before I go in and serve them, I want to do a quick video. I want to share today about uh, the hate the narcissists give. The hate the narcissists give. And I hope I don't get, um, uh, into, I hope this video don't get, um, I don't get distracted by anyone coming up to me while I'm trying to do this video, but uh, I am in the middle of getting ready to do a distribution. But the hate the narcissist get. The narcissist has a hatred. That hatred that the narcissist give to you is a hatred that they really have for themselves. They hate the fact that they are not built up the way that they should be. They hate the fact that you are intelligent, you are loving and kind, compassionate, you are a go-getter, you're strong, you're beautiful, you're handsome, uh, you have a lot going for you, people love you, you have lots of friends, uh, you have people that support you, that love you, that just love you for just being yourself. And the hate the narcissists give you is the hate of jealousy, the hate of envy. They cannot stand the very essence of who you are. They cannot stand your presence. I don't care if this person is your spouse. I don't care if it's your child a neighbor, a friend, a co-worker, uh, whoever this narcissist is in your life, they are very jealous and envious of you. They can't stand the fact that you're just beautiful, your your spirit and your awe that you carry, that people are attracted to the very person that you are because of what you do, the caring and compassionate heart, the giving heart. The narcissist hates that about you, and this is the reason why they try to turn you down. This is the reason why... They have to run the smear campaign to try to destroy your character, destroy the very person that you are. They have to um, get the fly monkeys together to try to help with that process because they can't take you down by themselves. The hate the narcissist gives is a hate that is so deep, is actually in their blood, is actually in their DNA. Hate is in their DNA. Jealousy is in their DNA. Uh, manipulation is in their DNA. They don't know anything about righteousness, holiness, kindness, love, togetherness, unity, um, self-reflection, um, putting others before themselves. This is something that the narcissists do not carry. They know that you do. So the hate that they give you is a hatred that they feel about themselves because they know that they have to mask everything that they do. These people cannot be trusted. Even though they seem to be kind on the outside and nice to you, it is a mask. It is a fraud. It's almost like a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde type spirit that these people have. So my kings out there, if you listen to this video, be very careful with these deceptive uh, females, narcissists that will use their body, use their uh, appearance, use um, uh, money, use whatever they have to flaunt in front of you in order to capture you, to, to get you in their net of deception. These people are very jealous of you. They can't stand that you are a loving, compassionate man. They want someone that is weak. They want someone that is vulnerable. They want someone that they can control. And it goes the same way with my queens, with these male narcissists. They hate and I'm not talking about every man. I'm talking about the narcissists. They hate women that are strong or self-sufficient, independent, that love themselves. They have boundaries. They hate that because they have to try to tear those walls down. There's too much work 
to deal with you. So this is why they discard you so quickly too. Not only because of just the th the way you are, they discard you because it's their it's in their DNA. It's who they are. They cannot keep anything. Eventually, they're gonna destroy it. Eventually, they're gonna tear it down. Eventually. The devil can only mask for so long. He can only hide for so long. He can only pretend for so long. So the hate the narcissist gives you is a hatred that is built up in their DNA to destroy people like you and me that carry the spirit of God, that carry uh, discernment and wisdom. They know that our DNA is made up out of love because God is love. These people have chosen to be uh, a child of the devil. They have chosen to be um, a child of wickedness. They carry that Jezebel spirit. And when they connect themselves to other women and connect themselves to other men that carry that same spirit, those demons that that narcissist already has, now it's seven times worse because now they have taken on the new supplies demons of hatred that they have towards you. So it's not just to hate the narcissist give. Now the flying monkeys have a hatred towards you. Now the new supply has a hatred towards you. Strangers and people in the narcissist family and co-workers have a hatred towards you. And these people don't even know anything about you except for what the narcissist has told them. So there's hatred all over. So the hate the narcissists give you is their own energy. It's who they really are. They don't really care for you. They don't really support you. They don't want to help you. They don't um, look forward to building you up because they are in the process of tearing you down. So I just want to let you know today, the hate the narcissists give you is not love. It is not um, genuine. Um, uh, it's not um, something that is funny, something that you should blow off. It's a total red flag. If you're dating someone or married to someone or dealing with someone that treats you um, like you don't exist, that treats you with contempt and disdain, to give you the silent treatment that, um, you know, blows you off. Someone that don't support you or love you and they showing you this, please, when someone show you who they are, believe them. Don't stick around for more. Don't stick around for more disrespect. Don't stick around for more hurt and pain. Don't stick around for more um, cheating and deception, deceit and lies. When you see this stuff, Get out of it because the longer you stay in it, the worse of the situation uh, is going to be. And so I just want you to know that today from Coach Liz, the hate the narcissists give, it's a dangerous hatred. It's embedded in their DNA. It's a hatred that will eventually um, form into something else that's not healthy for you, that's not safe for you. Not even your children, not even those that are around you. These people, hatred drives them. And when the enemy is behind that hatred, there's no telling what this person might do to you. This person, again, can hurt you physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, psychologically. These people are into witchcraft. They're into demonic spirits. They're into um, um, witch doctors and different things like that. They'll try to put spells on you. Um, they will do anything they can to destroy you or to bring you down because the very essence of you, the very thought of you... Um, makes them feel that you're better than them. They want you out of the way. They want you eliminated. And when these people, again, show you who they are, believe them. Stop blowing it off. Stop laughing, thinking it's a joke or this person is just going through something. You need to separate yourself. This is something that God is showing you to let you know that this person is not for you. And some of us stick around too long like Coach Lizzie did. And eventually God allowed that mask to fall off that narcissist that I was married to. And he ended up discarding me. And even though sometimes that discard, when I'm going to say sometimes, all the time, when that discard does hurt because you love that person, but God knows that you're not going to do it. So God would allow that person to discard you. They will, he will allow them to leave you. He will allow them to take that mask off and show you who they really are so that you can get out of that. It is best for you to hurt for a short period of time and to heal than to remain for years or a lifetime married or connected or being around a person that is toxic. God doesn't want that for his children. He wants us to be strong. He wants us to be bold. He wants us to stand firm and to trust him and have discernment on what is good and what is evil. 
We live in a world today that people are calling evil good and good evil. And so we know these things. We know what the Lord has told us that's going to take place in these last days. And we just need to make sure that we understand that and don't be blind to reality. Don't be blind um, to the fact that we chose the wrong spouse or chose the wrong um person to be in our lives and sometimes we have no control over especially if a narcissist is your child or a neighbor or a friend or a co-worker or a, a, a church member or the pastor or whoever this person is or your best friend your bestie or whatever but we do have control over separating ourselves from the spirit and so i wanted to share that with you all today god bless you you all have a wonderful day if you want a one-on-one -on -one with Coach Lizzie, if you need prayer, please email me at warriorqueen.55 at yahoo.com or go to my website at www.breakingfreenpd.com. The information will be in the description box down below. Guys, again, hit that like button. Please share. Give us a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you have not. I love you guys to the next video. Have a great day.